brought a man into the market. You are Dr. Allo. What other products did you see or product did you see that would help to support additional systems of the body? In just a recent years, well, antioxidants were discovered. In 1997, we introduced microhydrin. This slide represents what an antioxidant is. On the left, you see a hydrogen atom. It has a one plus charge in the center and a one minus charge in the electron orbiting around the center. On the right, you see the same hydrogen atom with an extra electron orbiting outside the first orbit. This extra electron is very loosely connected and very easily surrendered. And that's what antioxidants do. They surrender electrons. And you can even measure that, and I've asked Kevin to put an in, a meter in a glass of water to measure the antioxidant activity. But first, we're going to measure the water. This is tap water from the hotel. It's 236 millivolts positive. The scale that we use to measure antioxidants is illustrated in this slide. Everything above the zero has more positive charges than negative charges. Everybody needs energy for your heart, your brain, your muscle, to move, to walk, to live, you need energy. Energy comes from the action of negative charges electrons. So everything above zero with that red plus is dead in terms of providing energy. Examples of those oxidized substances are fluorine that you get in toothpaste and chlorine that you use in the washing machine or in a swimming pool. Now, in our measurement, does it still read 236? 245. Oh. 245. Now I'm going to ask Kevin to put a couple of microhydrin capsules in the same glass of water. Rinse. Okay. Now put that in and let, let's wait and see what happens. It's going into the minus range. Is that good? That's exactly what you want. <laughs> Anything below the zero is means it has fewer positive charges than negative charges. That's why it's called reduction. Examples of antioxidants would include organic orange juice, organic carrots, wheatgrass, and of course, microhydrin. Could we switch to the slide? Before we do, minus 600 millivolts. It, it already? Yes, sir. Wow. <laughs> uh, let's go back to the previous slide. And in a matter of minutes, a couple of capsules of microhydrin has dropped from 254 down to minus 600. That's an 854 millivolt uh, antioxidant activity, which is incredible. So remember, oxidation uses electrons and it leaves dead compounds. Say you eat food and it's attacked by oxygen, you breathe in the oxygen, and that gives off energy. And now you've got a food particle that is deficient in electrons. The reason that's dangerous is because the food particle it becomes a free radical and it attacks your cells. It attacks the cell walls and it can pierce the cells and go in and, and take electrons out of your DNA. When it does, the cell can't reproduce normally and can become a cancer cell. Does that lead to the aging process? That can be one of the results of, of uh, cells being attacked and losing their electrons. If I have more electrons, more energy, healthier cells, I'm going to be able to defy the aging process. You can slow it down. Slow it down. Is that why you look so great? He looks great, doesn't he?
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, any, back, back to the program. Any new product requires a safety study. And we did safety studies, quite a few, on microhydrin. And we presented these studies to the American College of Nutrition's annual meeting in 1998. This slide shows the opposition of increased epinephrine. It's an absolute mathematical curve because the more microhydrin you take, the better is the resistance to the oxide. This is another oxidizing agent, NAD, and again, the microhydrin just mathematically uh, opposes it as you, the more you take, the better it is. Andrei Kuznetsov is a Russian runner over 40 years of age. So when he runs a marathon, he runs in what is called the master's division. He won the Boston Marathon twice. In all his training, he was taking microhydrin. There's a Dr. Brown in the uh, British Columbia who went, uh, ascended the south peak of at Mount Everest uh, without supplemental oxygen, believe it or not. He had tried once before and didn't make it, and this time he made it. And finally, we had a woman runner, also Russian, who won the Los Angeles Marathon over all ages, including the 20-year-olds. She was 48 years old. For those of you who work out are athletes, you should know that we put cyclists on stationary cycles. One group were on microhydrin in one week. The other group had no microhydrin. We asked them to do a 10K run, and then a week later, they reversed. This is called a crossover study. And the result of that study done in a medical school was that microhydrin held down the lactic acid to 50% uh, of its value in those who did not take microhydrin. We put the University of uh, Nebraska football team on microhydrin one season from practice in August all the way through. They were the number uh, three in the nation, and they won the Fiesta Bowl. I asked the, the coach what was the difference this year then from previous years. He said when a one of his star players would get a cramp in his legs and couldn't play, put him on the bench, he would give him three microhydrin and a glass of water. He said that instead of sitting on the bench for the rest of the game, within minutes he'd be back on the field. So I think we can conclude that we have in microhydrin a very powerful antioxidant. That is awesome. Can you get a shot of the ORP meter? What's it say now? 744. <laughs> a negative 744. And Mr. Howard, that uh, was worth the trip to Taiwan to hear that. <laughs> it's always impressive to hear y your passion and your heart and to be a part of your vision for the future. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very Thank you. much.